the problem. You say you don't have these little shorties stashed all over the city. I don't even like, what is it? You what are you are you seeing your probation officer? What is going on? Oh. Hi! Hey, how are you? Oh my gracious, Michael, it has been so long. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing great. So how is the music business treating you? The last time I talked to you, you was with um, you had just started your own company. Yes, I did. And um, which is okay. Don't don't. Mm -mm. Ademia? No, Ada Media. Ada Media Group. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hold on, okay, wait a minute. Do that one time. The uh, the name. Okay, we sure did. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay, so the last time I was talking to you, we you had just started your own company, right. Ada Music Group, okay. and you were. Ada Media Group, yes. and you were, you know, excited about that. You were also doing some things for some other labels, but your passion always, regardless, has been music. So Correct. tell me, what is new in music? What is new with you? Well, the music has changed a lot. Okay. You know, I mean, over the years, the music has evolved. Mm -hmm. um, now it's big on streaming. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, and, and streaming is so easy, but people take it for granted. Mm -hmm. But streaming is the new vinyl. Okay. Okay. Of music. Okay. But the new vinyl, I mean, new doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. I mean, you, I know you still got some vinyl, right? You know what I mean? What you got? Tell me what you got. Um, I have Michael Jackson. <laughs> I know that's right. I have, and uh, go ahead. I'm waiting for it. Key Sweat. Okay. And wait a minute. There's one more that I know you got. Go I ahead. I have the group called Champagne. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay. It, my list you don't got no Stevie in there? Yeah. I, guess, I, you know, I see, Why did you I say Stevie? You knew I, I was sitting it. here waiting for I Stevie. <laughs> See, that's when you know you really in tune with the whole music thing. When yes. the music is really part of your soul. When you got the vinyls, what you got, the 45s, you got the little baby ones, yes. still in the dust jacket. Correct. Wow, wow. So, with working with these new artists, you know what I mean? What... I know there's a lot of people that's running around. It seems like anybody with a phone can make a video. Anybody with a phone can make a song. You know, you can create your own beats now. They've got all kinds of stuff happening. And everybody wants to tell their story or a version of their story Good. via music. And there's all these different pop-up artists that are doing things, which is fine. Like, if you can find a positive way to kind of tell your story, that's great. What advice do you have? Because there's so many... It's almost like, I don't want to call it an epidemic, you know, but it's almost like there's throngs and throngs and throngs of all these rappers. But when you turn on the radio, it's like, oh, wait a minute, I can't find anything to listen to. Then, well, I think what artists need to do mm -hmm. is reinvent themselves and think outside the box. Okay. Everybody wants to be followers. Okay. And never a leader. Okay. Um, and, the, and the industry is looking for leaders, people who can think outside the box mm -hmm. and not follow the next Drake or mm -hmm. compare yourself. Because if you compare yourself to Drake or Lil Wayne mm -hmm. or the next Nicki Minaj mm -hmm. and you can't fit that caliber, mm -hmm. then you've already lost. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? You want to bring out new music, music that nobody's never heard. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to copy someone else that's already made it right. and do your own thing. I get that. I get that a lot. So now, what's new for you? Like, what's your project that you're working on right now that's new for you what are you excited about right now i have a young artist out of wisconsin uh sheboygan wisconsin named mm -hmm. scooby smith mm -hmm. he has a song called bag it up that's okay. doing pretty good we in, reinvented him mm -hmm. coming out in this gen industry he's doing on, he's on spotify he's ever he's already got over a thousand streams on spotify okay and we're remarketing him and and taking advantage of what the industry has to offer mm -hmm. with the marketing, the promotion, and then the digital platforms. Okay, okay. You know? So, so basically, right now, like you said, you have this new artist. So, is that what you're doing? Are you looking for artists that that are willing to learn? Because there's a lot of people. There's a lot of them that already think they know all they need to know. So, and then, you know, I know that I was always told to remain teachable. You know what I mean? No matter what it is, whatever you know, you decide to do, just always keep your mind open to learn a little bit more. Correct. So with your artists that you take under your wing and, you know, you develop, is that the same type of caliber that you're looking for? And are you looking for yes. new artists? I'm always looking for artists that's willing to grow and willing to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. Don't stand still, be moving. Mm -hmm. Because... If you're willing to think out the side of the box, then the world is your is your oyster. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I like artists that are hungry mm -hmm. and are willing to invest themselves. Okay. Because when it comes to the labels, 
If you're not going to invest a dollar of your money, don't think the label's going to invest 40000 of theirs. Right, right. And then that's so true. I actually had a client once, and I'm going to go to a meeting. If I could ever get there, Bobby. Sorry. Um, <laughs> he does his own thing. What is this? Hey, but I actually Bobby. had a client, and they were looking for a sponsor. And it was really, really crazy because the sponsor was like, we're good. You just have to put 10% up. And they were like, well, I once dealt with somebody that did it all. And they were like, well, we need to see that you believe enough in this project that you're willing to put your own money in it. So I totally get it. If the artist or the would-be artist isn't willing to invest in themselves, why would somebody else be willing to invest in them? That's correct. It doesn't make sense. And it doesn't because a lot of artists, they, they use that as a crutch. Right. But yet they, want to, they, they don't want to be called, I'm a copycat. The label hears it so much that it goes in one ear and not the other. Right. If you can't invest your money, then don't expect us to invest ours. Right. You don't want to invest your time and energy, we're not going to do ours. Right. And that's where artists fall short because they think they know everything and they don't really know everything. They know what they see from the guy next door that's another rapper mm -hmm. giving you the bad advice mm -hmm. instead of the person across the street that's educated and knows the ins and outs of the industry right. and the mechanicals of what it takes like to you go, like to you like you because like you were saying early last time we talked and you were talking about you know you got to get your music registered you know you got to get copywritten you have to create your own brand you know and and you also have to view yourself as a company because if this is something that you're doing and you're making music and you're trying to sell it then you need to also get yourself out there and represent yourself as a business and I think that regardless if it's music if it's clothes if it's lipstick if you're doing something then you have to treat it as a serious business right. you know and I think that's where a lot of kids and even some adults fall short you know but here in Atlanta like do you have any do projects as far as new events that are popping up soon or now you also do some consulting. I do consulting. I'm also an A and R for Def Jam. Okay. Oh, Def Jam. Okay. Yes. Great. Great. Uh, is an event we have coming up. Um, is, is a Def Jam showcase mm -hmm. on the 23rd, and um, we're giving an artist a chance to show their talent. You know, mm -hmm. come with one out single, mm -hmm. give it your best in front of us. Because mm -hmm. usually, if you want to see us and talk to us, you're going to have to come to the office. Mm -hmm. That's going to cost money because mm -hmm. time is money. So we're giving you a chance. And the company that I that I own, Ada Media Group, is willing to give the artist that, that wins that showcase, distribution, radio, mm -hmm. and marketing to give them a kickstart to, for wow. their career. Wow. So they come out to the showcase... And they do what they need to do on the showcase, and they win. Right. Then you're willing to basically give them their start to get to where they're going. Correct. Wow, that is so fantastic. Now, what if somebody goes up there and they do their thing, but they don't win? Well, then we we're gonna consult them. I mean, we don't we we feel every artist should get a chance to be heard and to be noticed. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're gonna consult them. Okay. And, and just give them pointers on what they need to do to mm -hmm. make it to right. the level that they need to get noticed. Right. Um, and we just go from there. Right. Know? And keep it in mind that no big is too, no dream is too big and no right. dream are too small, right? Wow. Well, thank you so much. I hate when Bobby stops, and I never know when he's going to stop. Because he's got, I don't know what goes on with him. First, I thought he had to go to the bathroom. I didn't know what it was. But when he stops, it's like I always, always, always run into some of my old friends. And it's so fantastic catching up with you. No I problem. thank it's you so much. You. I really do. I really do. And hopefully, I'll be seeing you soon but um wait a minute before i let you go before i let you out because i think we're almost at your stop i was on your social media and it was your i think it was your instagram your instagram has all your information and everything in case somebody wants to get in Correct. contact with you right so Correct. if i know any artists that i feel as though would benefit from being with your media group i should tell them to contact you via what you can t hit me up on instagram it's def jam a and r mike neely you can hit me up on Facebook, which is called Red Dog Music. Mm -hmm. You can hit me up on Twitter, which is called Big Mike Music. Okay, all right. So, wow, they got a whole bunch of ways to get it down. Yeah. All right, no problem. Did you get all that, Bobby? Yes. Okay, no problem. no problem. All right, again, thank you so much. Thank you. And I'll see you again. The next time I'm around town, I'll stop by and no see you. No problem. Thank all you right, much. you have a good one. You too. All right. I really quickly, can I get a little bit, I'm going to go around the corner one more time. Can I get a little bit more of like your history, who you are, what you've done? How far you want to go back? 
<laughs> Whatever we can, let's get it. I need. I need All right, I know what question I'll ask you. Thank you. We're still rolling. Yes. So, Mike, listen. You didn't just get into this. No, I didn't. Like you made your bones. I mean, at one point in time, you did security. Um, I remember the little, the famous little fight up with uh, the guy that had took um, Heavy D's coat. Like you've really done your thing. Right. So, tell me, when it came down, when did you decide? that you wanted to start not only your own company, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and be on the more administrative side of music because you've got a crazy collection, so you're obviously a music lover. Did you ever at any time, two-part question, I'm throwing it all out there, did you ever at any time decide that you wanted to be an artist or was it just, you know what, I can't be an artist or I don't want to be an artist, I appreciate music, so I want to be involved in some way, how am I going to do this? I, I, I can't be an artist. I couldn't rap. I can't even lip sync. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> How can you not lip sync? I can't even lip sync. What do you mean? What's so, your favorite song? No. What's your favorite song? <laughs> I like old school. You know what I mean? Okay. I like the Patti LaBelle. Okay. The, the so, uh, bases. somebody loves you, baby. Yes. Okay. I like I'm with. So you go. To, I can't I'm with you. Right? I sound like I'll... somebody choking a cat. <laughs> I sound like that. You know what I mean? But the industry to me. Yes, I did start from the bottom, mm -hmm. and I made my way out. Okay. Um, I've done everything you mentioned, from security to freelance. Mm -hmm. But I like I like to read. I'm a book, I'm a nerd, as they say. Okay. Okay. So I love to read. So anything that consists of me reading, mm -hmm. I want to do. And I like the business side. Mm -hmm. I like the functions of putting the puzzles together. Okay. And forming a a, a, a strong foundation okay. for music and artists. Okay. And educating them, and, and that's where my passion lies to educate, to take artists to a level that they have never experienced because other people want to shut the door on them. Mm -hmm. But the world is your oyster, and that's where we need to go in right. and show the artists this is how it takes, and this is what we need to do from step to step. And my history in music come, goes all the way back till I was 18. Wow, you know, wow, um, yeah. I've done it, I've worked with everybody from but uh, Heavy D, uh, mm -hmm. MC Light at the time, mm -hmm. Queen Latifah. Mm -hmm. um, currently, one of my best friends is a rapper by the name of Little Bootsy. Okay, yeah, right. Yes, uh -huh. he, he's a good friend of mine. Okay. Um, and he, I like his business sense. So I okay. tend to hang around him to absorb that knowledge of business. Okay, okay. Um, I've worked with such people as Dave Hollister, okay. Twister. Uh -huh. um, I'm also a good friend. So of you Paul. just start studying? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. You start studying. You have your history, like you said. You made your bones. You know what I mean. And now you're to a point where you like. You know what? I know. I have an ear for good music. Have you ever had someone come to you and be like, "Oh, this is hot. This I want you to look at this. This is hot. This is hot." And when you listen to it, you like, "What the?" Yeah, I have that. <laughs> but my thing is, I tell artists, don't ask me a question if you don't want the honest answer. Hey, hey, you can't, you can't get any better than that. And I dealt with an artist recently, but a week ago. His music was pure garbage, and he mm -hmm. got mad at me because he asked me to be honest. I said it's garbage, mm -hmm. and he said how bad? I threw it in the garbage. Wow! And he got offended. He said, "You know what? I'm the hottest rapper." I said, "But bro, you're not a hot rapper. And right? Yeah, you can get your fan base to mm -hmm. get up and say something. Your, right? Your music is garbage. It doesn't right. have no meaning. Right? You know what I mean? And he was mad because I had to break him down. I said, "Well, you stole the instrumental from." Um, a R. Kelly joint. Okay. And you're trying to sing another song from another R. From a, what's it, Boyster Man? Yeah. You're trying to make it into a rap song. Oh. I said that's where you messed up at. Right, right, right. You know, and he yeah. was offended, and I was, and I told him again, don't ask me to be honest. If you want lies, go to the people across the street. Right, right, right. Well, hey, this is what we do here. We specialize in the truth because the only the truth will get you to where you need to be. Right. Yes, that's the way you gotta be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Cool. And that's enough. All right. <laughs> All right.